Hi everyone, my name is Amichai Evenchem, and today I want to show you another cool vibe coding project that I built. This time we are going mobile. So let's start with a use case. I have a delivery company. As you can see, I have a table here with all the different deliveries. I can see their status, the address, the expected delivery time, and each delivery is connected to a driver. So I have my driver list and delivery list. But there are two main problems with this view. First of all, that's not the best way to see deliveries. I don't only want to see them as a list. I want to visualize them on a map to understand where are my drivers, where are my deliveries, where is going to be the bottleneck. And the second issue is my drivers. They need a way to easily see their next driving location and navigate there. So let's see my solution. Next to the table, I have my own delivery management page. This page shows me a list of all the pending deliveries, and I can see them on a map. I can select a specific delivery, see where the driver is, and where is the delivery address. I can also easily see all my on-route deliveries, the delayed one, and the ones already delivered. So the next question is, what about the drivers? For that, we're going to go mobile. So this is my phone. You can see it's mirroring in real time, and I have this delivery board. And I can open it as a table, but I'm not sure that someone that is driving wants to see it exactly like that. So I built my own mobile view. This is a custom UI that I built specifically for the drivers, where they can easily see their next delivery, navigate their call to the person who should get the package, or just see a map of their next delivery location. This way, they have a mobile-friendly view of the same data the delivery manager is creating, but built specifically for mobile. So now the question is, how did I build it? How much money did I pay for a developer? And the answer is zero. I built it with no code, only with prompts. I built similar things with Base44, Lavable, Bolt. But this specific time I used Windsurf, which is also a vibe coding tool. It's a bit more for developers. I just wanted to challenge myself. But I had one rule. Do not look at the code, no matter what. Use only prompts. So I just taught it to use Monday's app framework, which is a way to build those extensions and this new extension on mobile, uploaded everything into my developer center in Monday. And now all of those new views are just a part of the system. I took the existing SaaS product, used natural language to explain what is missing and just added those new features. I think this is the future of SaaS. This is the future of products. Take this enterprise product that already built everything for you and just add the new missing tool you need in order to do your work better or create a mobile view for your delivery man. I hope I gave you ideas of what we can achieve using vibe coding in this new AI world. Thank you for your time. See you next time.